As Canadians, we like to talk about the weather. There's another topic that we like to discuss too. That would be real estate. And as we enter the fall season, great to have uh, Michael St. Jean from Michael St. Jean uh, Realty uh, here with us on a housing market update. Before we get to the fall, Michael, let's uh, let's kind of recap the summer and how 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 was the summer in Hamilton, Burlington, and throughout the region? We actually had a very normal summer. Uh, the last couple of years during the pandemic, we saw heightened levels of activity through the summer just right. because of all the demand, low interest rates. Uh, I would say this summer was more of a traditional summer, activity moderating slightly. Of course, we had a couple of interest rate hikes, which I, I would think most people were not expecting. Um, but overall, it was a very positive summer. Overall, prices moving upward, not, uh, not the way we've been seeing over the last few years, but nonetheless moving forward. And uh, yeah, it was, it was positive. Okay, so today is a big day because they're going to be announcing possibly another interest rate hike. We don't think that's going to happen, but we haven't thought that in the past. What would another interest rate hike do for the, uh, for the market? I mean, interest rates are up uh, by you know, over 400% in the last uh, year, a uh, year and a half. I don't think another quarter point interest rate hike is gonna really mean a whole lot to the market at this point. Okay. Um, we've handled and, and fared very well given the increases that we've seen historically, the largest increase in the shortest period of time in Canadian history. Um, I personally don't think rates are going to be moving up at this point based on the latest jobs data, the latest inflation uh, data. Things are doing pretty well. Uh, things seem to be in check. So I think they're going to pause today, although again, you never know. But even if they were to increase, I don't think it's going to have much impact on the market. Housing market is a hot topic, obviously, with the Greenbelt discussion, what's going on, going on there. Are we seeing many houses on the market at this point for sale? We haven't seen many houses on the market since, uh, you know, 2015, 16. So we are in a constant state of not having enough homes for all of the families that uh, require, uh, require a roof over their head. Uh, immigration, of course, we're bringing in more immigrants this year than in any year in history. Um, just from an immigration perspective alone, there are four new families coming in for every home being built. Um, of course, you add uh, student visas, work visas, uh, natural you know, population growth uh, via birth, and then migration from some of the other provinces in Canada, people coming to Ontario uh, to go to school, to work, to start their new lives, a lot of economic prosperity here. When you really do the math, there is nowhere near enough housing for all of the people coming to the province. Somebody watching right now, growing out of their house, so they do have a home, moving into something bigger, or maybe even first time home buyers looking, looking for something. What's the advice for somebody looking to upgrade into another house and sell their current, their current house? Um, it, I mean, it's difficult, but I always say real estate is, uh, it's a series of steps. It's, you know, you're no longer going to, um, you know, jump into your dream home. You're going to start out in whatever product you can afford. You're going to, you know, build your equity, pay down your mortgage. Uh, market's going to increase over time, sell, get yourself into something a little bigger. Maybe you go from a condo to a townhome, a townhome to a single family home. You know, you're gonna be looking at somewhere in the neighborhood of two to four steps to probably get to where you eventually wanna be if you're looking to be in, uh, you know, sort of the traditional single family home. Um, but, it, but it's not easy, uh, there's no doubt about it. And, and at this point, affordability is the worst that we've ever seen. Um, at least since I've been born, yeah. when you're factoring in high home prices and uh, fairly high interest rates, at least, you know, compared to what we've seen over the last 20 years, you know, it's sort of the worst of both angles. You know, you would think one of them would give, rates would give, or prices would give. Unfortunately, that's not the situation. They're both fairly high and so um, you know the truth is is it's a difficult environment to get into the market and we're going to be watching closely on that uh, on that ratings and that uh, possible interest rate hike that uh, comes a little bit later today we'll be following that always love having you on the show and uh, having these discussions and we'll uh, do so going forward michael st jean from uh, st jean realty on morning live on your wednesday